Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 2 of this SS Leicestershire tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the ship superstructure, which will, uh, I think it's about 1, 2, 3, about 3, maybe 4 decks of the superstructure, um, and any other details I can think of as well. There's also a deck house on the stern, which we can do. Um, maybe some other details as well, because we're going to try and cram everything into sort of 3 videos, so we're on to part 2 now. So what we're going to do first is, before we build anything, we're going to add some center blocks to the decks, because there's three, well, two raised decks on this ship, actually. So if we go, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the center point of each of the two raised decks. There's a raised deck just behind the forecastle wall there, and a raised deck just behind it here as well. So what we're going to do is just add a center block to those. So the first one just behind the forecastle here, put a center block there, and then all the way back to where the deck drops down again, I'll put a center block there as well. So these are just markers, okay? But uh, they're center blocks. So those are the center blocks. We're going to use those as our reference points. So what we're going to do to begin our superstructure, we're going to go down to the second of the red blocks now. So the second point of the uh, I keep forgetting what these are called raised decks. So second raised deck here. We're going to go from this block here. And we're going to count back uh, 23 blocks. So from here, we're going to count back 23. So one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And on the 23rd block, we'll put another center block there. So that would be the front wall of our superstructure, as you can see. It's on actually, it's on the main flat deck now, because the, the first two ones are raised. This one here is now completely flat, so that's what we want. So it's 23 blocks back. And for the wall itself, it's going to be... 13 wide, so what's that? Six other sides, so one, two, three, four, five, six that way, one, two, three, four, five, six that way, and then behind that we want five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, like that, and do the same on the other side, so it's a curved wall, so it's five, one, two, three, four, five, three, one, two, three, and two, one, two, like that, and then what you want to do is increase that to five blocks high, so I'll start in the center, so two, three, four, five, and then build it five high, all the way across, and also over the yellow line as well, so build it five high, like this, all the way out to the side, and over the yellow line like that. There we go, I think that's about right. So, let me just double check to make sure that is right. Because the yellow line ends at that point. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. That'll do. <laughs> I'll just have to double check. So, I'm just going to quickly copy that to the other side. So, copy that five, five high across to the other side. So, copy, flip to the right, and paste. Like that. So, there we are. There's the front wall all done like that. And on the side side points I want to build I think it's three high in red and black so on the side here we go in this gap we go one two three like that and where is it two I make it two actually I make it two like that and then add uh, two white blocks on top like that there we go so it just makes it a little bit different on the side so once again on the side in the corner here add two black one two two white one two like that there we go so that's how that should look like that and then for the sides on the top of the side, we're going to add a single line of white, and we're going to add white on top of the black, so it's a line of 25, I think. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And then 52, so that's the first block there. I'll make it 52. I'll build it freehand, and then measure it when I get to the end. So, it should be 52, 52. That's to the end of the black like that, and that line is 52. And then on the next row of black, we want a line of 25. So first block again, I'll measure as I go along. So and that is a line of 24, and then 25 like that. There we are. And I think then we can add another white block underneath because it's in a corner like that. And there we go. So that's the side done like that and I just do the other side as well so it's the same again 25 52 25 so I won't bother measuring it I just build it as is so it's 20, 25 like that and then the 52 let's 
basically the full length of each black section of the ra of, of the raised black section. So I'm going to say it's 52 here, and then the 25 again, up to the end up by one, and then one underneath like that. There we go. So that is our sections on like that and then across the back to join them together across want to build 14 inwards so we go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 plus a red block same the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 up to the red block there like that and the red block marks the center so there we go that's the back wall done like that and then we want to do then is just build the build the white down to the bottom um, if you want to you can add the yellow line as well so if we build it down build the white down to just above the yellow line like that and then build this all the way across try and do this as freehand because people do get assy when I use world edit There's the white added, and then the bottom row you can just add a yellow line. But look at the prototype. I think that's how I done it. Yeah. So the yellow line across the bottom, just to mat, just to mat, uh, mix with the uh, the yellow line on the side. So you build that all the way across as well. And there we go. There's our back all done. And then for the front one, well, you can probably do the same with that as well. You can change the bottom white line um, to yellow. I think that's what I done on the prototype. I can't quite see, but yes, I did. So the bottom line on the on the white here as well. You can change that as well. So change that to yellow. Not essential, but it just makes it look a bit different there. And there we go, there's our details done there. Just makes it look a bit fancy. And there we go, so that's that done there. Um, I'm just going to work out, we're going to need to add the deck now. Uh, the deck itself will go uh, on the second block down on the white. So if you look at the um, what we have so far, if you're on the inside, what we do, we'll add the deck. Second block down on the white. So this is the front wall. Second block down on the white. Just add the deck in, Ooh, like so. And what I do, I do the first few sections, and then I'll weld it at the rest. I'll do a jump cut and do the rest. So what we want to do is want to carry on that deck all the way to the back wall, and uh, everything should be fine. So what I'll do, I'll do a quick jump cut while I sort that out, and then we can uh, move on to the next phase. So um, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So that's the deck in place, and it should look something like that. Uh, the front wall there, the back wall, and the deck all done. Uh, next job we're going to do is add the front stairs. So we've got the front wall here. We're going to add the stairs. Uh, so we're going to go to the fifth block in from the side. So we go from the side here, we go in one, two, three, four, five. Make it six block in actually. So six block in the stairs will go here. So remove these two white blocks there and the two below that. And then we'll add our stair blocks. So we get our stairs, wood stairs, those ones. Build our stairs going down to the main deck below. Going to use quartz blocks to add the support. So there we go. There's our stairs there. Build the banisters up. Two, 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 and then two, two, two. So there's our stairs there. So that's that one, two, three, four, five, six. Do the same on the other side. Uh, just making sure I'm doing them right. So it's one. And there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six in. So remove again. The same again, and replace with stairs going down. Apologies if you can't hear me very well. The microphone is turned up to full, but some people have been having problems hearing me, so if you can't hear me, maybe need to turn this up a bit more because I've maxed out my microphone settings. But anyway, there's the uh, stairs added there. And then for the front wall itself, you can add starting some doors and windows. So what I'm going to do, I shall get the doors as well. So I want some doors. So if, uh, just by the... Uh, is there any room down this side? There is, but we'll put a, we'll put a couple of doors in the front wall. Here, like so. so next to the stairs, put a pair of doors there. Same on the other side, put a pair of doors just there like that. So there you go. And then I put sort of window, window, 
front window like that. So there you go, you got a little bit of front detail like that. And it uh, don't look too bad. I should put a bit more down the other side of the, of the uh, door as well to so put a window, window there like that. Same the other side, the other side of the stairs rather, not the doors, but the stair, uh, window and window there like that. Here we go, there's our details done there. Um, I think what else we can do. There's also, you can also put more detail on the back wall as well. I'm not sure what I did on the <laughs> prototype, but uh, I think it's basically the same sort of thing. So, what we'll do on the back wall, we'll put a pair of doors, actually, put a, put a window on the white there, like that, and then put a pair of doors in. Like so, this is just random stuff, by the way, because I'm not really written anything down. So, that's one side. I'll do the same the other side. I'll put a window there, like that, and then the doors like that and then we just add window every third block up to the center like so so there's the center there to so do the same the other side and there we go there's our back wall done like that marvelous so that's a bit of detail done there so what we're going to do now head back to the front wall and we'll start building the inside walls because we're going to build the uh, inside walls which will support the next deck up uh, so we'll go to the front wall to the center block which is here and we're going to go to the fifth block back on the wood. So we we'll go on the wood, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and put our center block there, like that. And then this inside wall is going to be uh, 21 wide, so that it's uh, 10 either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that way. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that way. And it's a flat wall. Let me just check if it is a flat wall because I'm not. It's been, been a few days as I wrote these notes down, but uh, yeah, it's a flat wall. So that's fine. So yeah, I was just thinking whether there's a curve or not. But anyway, that's that's the front wall done there. And then after that, you want the side walls. So you've got the 21 wide, and then from the sides or from the corners, you want to go back, and then you want to go back 25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and then out one we want 45. Uh, 48 sorry so I shall measure as I go along so 48 is what we need next so that's the first block and we just want 48 so how far though? that's 45 46 47 48 like that that's 48 I think yeah 48 and then after that we want uh, 23 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. There we go. That's one side done there. And do the same on the other side. So it's all the same. Uh, same again. So what's it? 25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 25. And then 48. I'll measure as I go along again. gone too far. That's uh, 47 and then 48 and then back in when we want 23. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then just join them together across the back. And we'll put a, a centre block as well but we'll just join them together first. Like that and then we'll add the centre block there like that. So there we are. That's all lined up. Smart and neat. And then these inside walls what you want to do is just increase them to three blocks high so just fall down again so there's another another jump cut coming up but what we want to do is just increase the walls to three high like so i just do a couple then i'll do a jump cut because it does take a little while to do some of these so there's the front wall and then we'll just do the side wall as well just do one of them There you go, there's the first couple of walls done. So what you want to do, those walls that we just built all the way around, you want to increase them all to three blocks high, these inside walls, and then everything will be fine. We can start adding the door the windows after that, but once you get those walls built up first, three high all the way around, and then uh, we'll come back again. So I should do a jump cut, we'll assault that, and uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the walls increased in height all the way around, and it should look something like that. All the walls there, you can see all three blocks high all the way around. Um, and then we'll add the deck on, well not the deck, but the deck surround on top. But before we do that, just a little bit of changes to the sides of the superstructure first. Uh, where the walls come out, this may be different to yours, because sometimes when I'm building something, they don't always add up. But where the walls go out 
from the center. You've got six and then five, three, three, and then you have this section here. What we're going to do is in this corner, if you have this corner bit here, what we'll do, we'll have two black blocks in there like that, and then two white blocks on top like that, just to create the curve a bit, make the curve a bit uh, smoother, because otherwise there's a bit of a gap. So that's that little section there. <laughs> there's probably something I didn't take into consideration when I built the damn thing. And then we do the same on the other side, just in this corner here. We'll add two black, like that, and on top two white, like that. Just to make the curve a little bit better. So there we are, that's that section done there as well. So what we do after that, we'll go to the centre block of the front wall of our superstructure here, or the inside walls rather. And what we're going to do is on top of the centre block, we're going to add five wood blocks forward. So one on the middle, and then two, three, four, five. Plus a centre block, like that. So there you go, there's your front. Uh, overhang like that, so that should overhang right over to the front of the superstructure below like that, that's fine. And then we're going to build the front wall going round to the side, and this is going to be six out to the side, like, like below, it's just basically following the contours below, so it's six out, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then the sides we want twenty-four, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, make it 25, like that, so it's 25, and then we want 52, so it's 5, 2, so I'll measure as I go along, so that's the first block there, and we want 52, going down the side like so, how far are we, nearly there, that should be 52, that's 52 there, and then one in again, we'll add another 25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, like that. So that's our back wall done. So let's do the same on the other side. So it's 6 out from the side, or from the middle rather. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 again, 1, 2, 3, and then 2, 1, 2. And then the same again, so 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then, what was it, 40, uh, 52, so once again I measure as I go along. So 52. And that is 51, 52. And then 25 again, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then join them together across the back, like so. Like that, there we go. So there's our deck laid out, and then I'll add the centre block again, like so. And there we go, there's our deck sort of laid out. No, 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 not quite done it too bad, you can't really see much of it, but that's how the deck is levelled. And no, I don't look too bad. So once again what we'll do now is just add the deck. So go on the inside again where these wood blocks are and just fill in the deck from there. And this will go from here all the way to the back again. So I'll do the first few rows again. Basically all the way out to the side. And then all the way back again. So basically, we just want to add that deck all the way to the back end. So I'm sure to do a jump cut when I sort that out, and then we can uh, move on. So um, yeah, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the deck all added, and the ship should look something like that. Don't look too bad, do it? So what we're going to do now is to add the pillars on the underside. Um, there's going to be uh, I'm going to use end rods for this one, but you can use wood fence or anything really but what we're going to do first on the corner here the front corner on the outside edge what we're going to do is add uh, a pillar in quartz like so like that and then one block forward of that do the same there so you've got two quartz pillars like that and then in this corner just above on the side we're going to use another quartz a, a set of quartz stairs and we'll put them in upside down like that so you've got a curved side or some curved thing on the side like that and then along the side we're going to use, like I said, I'm going to use end rods for this one because it just looks all right with this sort of sort of style of ship. Um, every third block, you just want to add a pillar. So if I look on the prototype, so you go one, two, three, add a pillar. One, two, three, add a pillar. One, two, three, pillar. And you get the idea how this goes. So you just add them every third block along the side. And it's the same on both sides as well. I'll just do the one side and then I'll do a jump cut to do 
<coughs> the other side, but I don't know how many pillars there are exactly, but as long as you just go all the way along the side, connecting the top to the bottom, you'll be okay. So just add these pillars all along, like so. Very boring job, but it works nonetheless. And also, the added bonus with Endrod, they actually illuminate the ship slightly as well, so... Oop, just on. So I say, just add these all the way along. Not the prettiest, not the prettiest of ships, but... The Endrods help. And then there we go. So there's our pillars all along the side, like that. No, don't look too bad. And then we go back to the front again. And it's the same sort of process on the front, so we'll go to the front again. But this time we're going to add the pillars every fourth block. So go from that front pillar on the side, like that. See so that pillar of quartz there. Just go one, two, three, yeah, one, two, three, four, and out to the side of the of the stairs there, like that. Add a pillar there, and then one, two, three, four, five. Add another pillar. Is it five or four? To make it four blocks, and make it a bit easier. So scratch what I just done. So it's one, two, three, four. Actually, the first one was fine, and then one, two, three, four. Add another pillar, and then one, two, three, four. Add another pillar. There we go. So those are the first pillars on the side there, and then we want to do is just do the same on the other side. So on the corner here, we just add the pillar, and then the pillar and quartz like that, and then our quartz stairs, which I throw away. Put them on upside down there, and then we'll add this. And add the, the inside pillars first, so it's one, two, three, four pillar, one, two, three, four pillar, one, two, three, four pillar, and there we go. So those pillars on the front are evenly spread, which is quite nice. And then what you want to do then is just do the same with the pillars on the other side. So down the side there, just add the pillars every third block, and everything should be fine. I'll do them in a minute on uh, during a jump cut, but first, what I want to do is to add the doors and windows. So if we go on the inside of the inside walls, so we're going from the front. And for the side walls, what I normally do with this, if if you're familiar with my builds, you know how this goes. So what I normally do, I put a pair, I put a window there, and then I put a pair of doors in, and then I put sort of six to eight windows spread by two blocks along the side. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, and then. After that, we'll put up another pair of doors, and then another few windows. It's one, two, three, three, four, five, six, and then seven, and then another pair of doors, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then make it eight actually for this one because there's a curve in the way. And then we'll, then we'll put a pair of doors in. Put a pair of, pair of doors, and then the same again. So one, two, three, four, five, and then another pair of doors at the end. Like so. And there we are. There's our doors and windows added along the side. Um, normally do leave these for a jump cut, but as we're here, we'll do them. And then across the back, we'll do the same sort of thing again. Just just put windows every third block up to the center and then go from the other side from the center uh, up to the center so one two three windows and then put one in the center there like that so there's the back wall like that and then we head back to the front wall so the same do the same on the other side as well so the same with the pillars and the windows as well just do the same and then we we'll just do the same across here as well so windows in the same position every third block like we did on the back so just do this across the front and there we go there's our doors and windows added there so there we are that's that little job done so like I say we've got the pillars all done on this side and the doors and the windows front and back and side so what I'll do now I'll do a jump cut while I'll uh, do the other side and then what we'll do we'll move on to the next deck so um, that's the next deck there and then there'll be deck houses above that so yeah what we'll do now we'll just do another jump cut and we'll come back and do that so uh, back in a moment Okay, back again. So I've done the pillars and the windows on both sides. So what we're going to do now is move on to the next deck, sort of. So what we're going to do is go to the front wall of the uh, of the deck we've just done. So the front wall here, and we're going to build a wall down the side. So we'll start at the centre. So I'll do one side first. So I put a, wall, a block there. I'm going to go out to the. I'll build a wall out to the side. So out 
across the front all the way out to the side like so and then you want to go down the side uh, was it 24 or so so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 so 25 and then we want 45 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. I should have just measured that with a bloody well in it, but there we go. So it's 45 down that side. So I do the same the other side. So I build the wall out to the side, like so. And then we want the 25. So basically just follow the contours to where the deck gets wider. Like that. So that's the 25, and then the 45, which I'll measure as I go along, so that's the first block. And then we want 45. So how far are that? 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. There we go, so that's 45 down the side like that. Marvellous. And of course this deck doesn't go as far as the one previously, so what we'll do now, go back to the front. And then we're going to add single windows all the way out to the side, so on the front wall here. So we'll start at the centre, and we're going to add a window there like that. And then we're going to add a window every other block, sort of every two blocks, out to the side. So that's one window in the middle, and then we'll put another window there, and then there, and then there, so that's that. And then another block gap window, block gap window, block gap window, block gap window. There we are, out to the side like that. And we'll do the same the other side, so block gap window, block gap window, block gap window, block gap window, 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 like that, there you go. So that's our windows added like that, and then what we'll do, we'll add pillars in between, and on the edge as well, so window, uh, pillars there and there. Like so. Like that, and there you go, there's your window like that, and then you can add a wall along the top of the windows as well. So put blocks out my hand, it's just out like that. So put, put windows, uh, blocks along the top of the windows, basically just a line of blocks just covering the top of the windows up, like so. And there we go, there's our walls and windows covered up like that. So that's the front wall done, and then for the side wall. We're going to add, same again, windows, but this time there's going to be, uh, how many do we want? We want 15 windows, I think. So, uh, let me just look at this. So, look at the prototype, a rough glimpse, and then we want 15 windows, I believe. So we want one window, and then one block gap, then we have number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and then 15. So that's our 15 windows like that. And then, and before, oh, as, as like before, we add a pillar in between. Like that. And then the line across the top of all the windows. Like so. And there we are, and then after that we want to build, a, from the top line that we just added there, on top of the windows, what we we'll do with that, just build the line all the way along until it meets up with the windows, uh, not the windows, but the, the wall below. So, we just built this wall 45 long along the side, so basically you just want to build this wall along the top, and build it until it reaches the same distance as the wall we just built, so up to this point here. So, that's where we want the wall to end, so I just build that all along the side like so. I don't know the exact number, but just build it anyway. And then measure as when you get there. So how far are we? And there we go. There's the wall ended there, and there's the top line ended as well. So there you go. You can see should have a gap looking like that. And then after that, we should be able to add pillars. So the pillars will be in the same position as the deck below. So if you've got pillars on the deck below, you just add the pillar there, like so. So you've got the same pillar below, pillar above, and then exact same position. So just add those pillars all the way along to reach to the end of the deck above. And this does work out quite neat. I'll do the other side in a minute as well. I'll do it on camera if I can. 
There we go. There's our win uh, pillars added there. And don't look too bad. And also another little thing we can add a corner block in here with stairs just to make the uh, corner promenade like that. And that looks quite neat. And that's one side done there. I'll do the other side as well. So it's the same 15 windows down the side. So I'll do this quickly as well. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, plus the pillars in between. Like that and then the line of blocks across the top of all the windows and pillars. Oh, gone too far. And there we go, there's the windows and pillars done. And then we just add the line of blocks, extend the top line all the way back until it reaches the end of the wall below. Like so, and there we go. And then what you do after that is just add the pillars. So once again, pillar, same position as the ones below. Until we get to the end of the overhang. And everything should work out fine. In theory. And there we go. There's our walls added like that. And they don't look too bad. So that's that little job done there. I'm going to do a little jump cut now because I've got to add some uh, inside walls, but uh, overall we don't have... Uh, well, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, I forgot the corner block as well, the corner stairs in there, so I'll just add those in there. There we go. And uh, that's a little job done there. So what I'll do, I'll do another jump cut when I work out what to do next, and then we shall move on. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is add some inside walls to the superstructure. So what we'll do, we'll go to where the windows turn into pillars. So on the side here, you got the windows, and where they change to pillars, we'll go on the inside of that. So this is the left side, by the way. Um, and the exact point where the window, or between the windows and the pillars, you've got this single pillar here, of course. So what we're going to do there is build inwards five blocks. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then increase that to three high, like so. And that will create a wall there. And then for the side wall going back along the deck, you want 35. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And increase that to 3 high. And then we're going to add 3 high blocks all along this wall. So just build them all along. Like so. And then do the same on the other side. So from that pillar, go in five. One, two, three, four, five. Build to three high. And then we want 35. So I'll just put a measure. i measure as I go along. So that's the first block. And we want 35. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's 37, so too far already. And then increased height to, th uh, to 3 high again. Uh, like so. Ignore all the mistakes I'm making. I'm just trying to do this as quick as I can. <laughs> like so. And then join them together across the back. Building them to three high, like so. Like so, there you go, there's your back wall. And I will add a centre block as well, so I need you to work out where the centre block is. That's there. So go forward and add the centre block just there, like that. And there we go, there's our inside walls. And like before, we uh, can start adding the doors or windows. So on the, the front wall here, which goes out from the pillars about a pair of doors in there like so and then we add, just add windows every sort of two blocks or third block like so so that's one two three four five six and then seven and then another pair of doors and then windows one oh. 
four. And there we go, there's that side, and I just add the windows across the back as well. Up to the center. Like so. so that's one side done like that. I just quickly I'll just do a world edit for this one just to save a bit of time, so the doors and windows exactly the same position on both sides, so I just quickly copy and paste that. So that's one side, and then we'll just do copy, flip, and then paste. And there we go, there's the doors and windows on that side. Oh shit, fell off. So there there's our doors and windows there. And then for the back wall here, where the pillars end, you've got this top line here, where the underneath the pillars, we just join them together from side to side, adding the back wall like so. Like that, and there we go, there's our back wall added, and then we just add the centre block again to mark the end of the deck. Like so. And there we go, there's that area done, and then from there you can start adding the deck. So, get our wood blocks again. And what we'll do, the wood blocks will go in the corner from the side like so. And you just want to go from this point all the way forward to add the deck. And the deck will sit on top of this inside wall. So what I'll do, I'll cheat a little bit, I shall use weld edit. And I shall use the fill tool. So this should take a second. So we need to fill wood by 200 and that should fill in straight away. There we go, there's our deck added. And it should look something like that, and that looks quite cool. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So there's our deck done. And uh, not all bad. So what I'm going to do now is to add uh, the front of the, uh, what will be the, uh, the, the, the deck house that will support the wheelhouse. So we go back to the front now. And on the front, we're going to add a wall which is 13 wide. So, center block there. Um, I'll put another marker there. So, I'm 13 wide. So, it's one in the middle, and then one, two, three, four, five, six that way. One, two, three, four, five, six that way. And then we want three. One, two, three, like that. Same the other side. One, two, three. And then for the sides, we want four. So, back four. One, two, three, four. And then 12, so out one go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like that. Do the same on the other side, back 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then join them together across the back. Like so, and there we are, there's the base of our deck house. And once again, I put a uh, centre block in red like that. And it don't look too bad. So what I'm going to do now... It's on the front wall. We're going to increase the front wall to two, 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 four high, I believe. So two, three, four. Just the front wall. Ju just the front wall for now. So the front wall of thirteen, like that. Make that four high, like that. And then, um, should I work this one out? So it's out six. And then, and then from the top, from this, from the inside, this block here. We're going to build outwards five, so one, two, three, four, five. So this is where it will be the bridge wing, so it's five, and then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four. So it goes out to the side like that, and then you want back three, so one, two, three, and then in six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then back three, one, two, three, and then in two, one, two, like that. And then build down to connect to the foundations of the deck house below. There you go. So there's your bridge wings. So do the same on the other side. So it's from the top block, we go out five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, back three, one, two, three, inward six, one, two, three, four, five, six, back three, one, two, three. Into one two down to one two like that. There we go. So that's all joined up like that. And then from this pillar, where it goes where it goes back in three or back in two down two there. The rest of the walls round. You want to increase to four high. So so just behind that pillar, the walls just increase to four high like that. And then across the back as well. and then across the side as well 
and there we go there's that bit done and then between the pillar and the front wall the wall here just increase that to three high there we go so that's that inside done there and the same the other side increase to three high oh shit didn't mean to do that so three high three high three high There we go, that's those walls done there like that. And uh, it don't look too bad. So once again now you can add the deck. So from the inside of the bridge wings we just add a deck in like so. And basically just add that from side to side, front to, front to back. And it should all look fine. So I usually use the fill tool again. And that fills the wood in like so. And there we go, there's our deck done there like that. And they don't look too bad. So from the front wall now, we'll add some windows. These, these are only going to be a few windows. So if we go from the center, and then from the center, wood block, second block up above that. We we'll just add a window, 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 and then window and window like that. So sort of five windows across the front like that. But um, it's up to you how you want to lay them out. And then the side windows, we we'll just add another window again. So these ones will be two blocks high. And I put a single door in there like that and then single windows again out to the side although there's going to be stairs in the way there so that may be a problem but we we'll put the windows in anyway and then the same the other side put a window in there and then a door and then a window 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 and window like that and then if you want windows across the back as well There we go, so that's the windows done there. And uh, don't look too bad. So the stairs I was on about, what you're gonna do is where the walls go where the, the floor goes in two blocks here, you're gonna remove this wood block uh, this white block here in the middle here, remove that. And we'll just build stairs going down. So I'm gonna wood stairs again. And then we'll build the stairs going down. Stairs, 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 stairs. And then white blocks underneath, and then the banisters, so two up, two up, two up, like that. And then same the other side. Remove the center. And then stairs going down. Stairs, 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 stairs. White blocks underneath. And then white blocks two, two, two like that. There we go. Don't look too bad. So that's that little job done there. And then the next job is for the ship's wheelhouse. So we'll go from the center block again on the front. And we'll add um, a, white, a wall of white going round to the back of the stairs on the side. So from the front, round the sides to the stairs, basically. So I'll add the wall across the front. Like so, down the side. And then back inwards, up to the stairs, like so. And that's what you want to do. Same the other side. Out to the side. Back down the side, and then back in down the side to the stairs there we go so that's that bit done there and then uh, for the wheelhouse we'll go to the front wall again and on the center we'll add uh, on the center block we'll add a pillar of two blocks high like that and then each side of that we want two windows I'll put a window that side and a window that side and then a block gap and another window other side another window there like that so you have four windows like so Put pillars in between and to the side. Like that, so you've got your windows like that. And that's your front of your wheelhouse. And then the sides we want 13 back. So from the side of that pillar, we're going to go, or behind the pillar, we go 13 back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Join them across the back, like so, and then increase to four high. So, four high all the way around. And then the other side, like so. And then across the front, 
Normally I add an, an overhang to this so I will do the same again. So from the front of the pillars just above the windows just add an overhang like so. So the front of the ship looks something like that. Does look ridiculously over tall, oversized doesn't it? It sort of looks a bit too tall for what it is but it's a thing. And then the same again we just add the doors and windows and add a window on the side and then a pair of doors and then the rest of your window window and window like that same on the other side a window pair of doors and then a window a window and a window and then the same across the back if you want no, nothing else to go there so just put windows I'll put three windows across the back make it look a bit different so there we go there's the windows there and then the roof is just going to be wood deck again so just get the wood decking and just fill it all in like so and I shall use the fill tool for this one so this is basically just a simple floor simple as done and there you go that's the ship's wheelhouse marvellous so what I'm going to do now is back underneath the bridge wings from the side of the deck house here so you've got the bridge wings above and you've got this wall uh, this uh, front wall here from the side of the deck house here, you just want to build a wall out to the side, so a wall out to the side like that, and then four down the side, one, two, three, four, or make it three, like that, yeah, make it three, so it's four in total, and then do the same the other side, just go out to the side, like so, and then one, two, three, like that, and then when you go out to the side here, underneath the bridge wings, we'll get our end rods, and attach three end rods underneath the bridge wing. So end rod, end rod, and actually you can only do two really. Anyway. Is it three? Well, on the prototype, oh, actually we're going to add four. The prototype is four, so we're going to add four really. Anyway, so there you go. You've got supports there, and then do the same on the other side. So four supports. Like so, and there we are. And there's our deck house done like that. They don't look too bad. Well, actually, the ship's wheelhouse and deck house and all things like that, but that's how it should look. And like I say, I don't look too bad. So, what I'll do, I'll do another jump cut while I work out what to do next, and then we'll move on. So, um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So, what we're going to do now is move on to the next deck house, going behind the first deck house. So, what we're going <coughs> to do is go to the back wall of the bottom deck house which supports the ship's wheelhouse lots of deck houses here anyway back wall here what we're going to do is go to the center block and the red block there we're going to count on the wood to the uh, 15th block no the 16th block back is it 16 yeah 16th block back let me just <laughs> make sure that says so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 I'll put a marker there so it's six, so you've got basically a 15 block gap, but the 16th block is where we want to build. So there's our marker there. And then this wall is going to be seven wide. So that's uh, three, three either side like that. There we go. And then uh, behind that, you're going to want to build out three. One, two, three. Same the other side. One, two, three. Like that. So there's our front wall. And then the sides we want back five, one, two, three, four, five, and then out four, one, two, three, four, and then back twenty nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty, sixty, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. There we go. So twenty nine to the same the other side. So it's back four, one, two, three, four. Five, sorry, and then out four, one, two, three, four, and then twenty nine. So I won't, I won't count it. I just compare it to the other side. So as long as they're both the same length, <laughs> everything should be okay. So there we go. So the prototype, that's fine. And then join them together across the back, single straight wall. And there we go. That's all fine. And we can put a center block if you want. It's not important on this one because there's nothing else that goes behind it. But might as well keep up the tradition of adding a centre block. There we go. And the next job you want to do is increase the walls all the way around to four blocks high. So another one of those. Yeah, you've got a lot of building to do, but it's not too bad. So just build them all the way around four blocks high. I will use a bit of world edit for this one because it is a pain in the ass. 
not two sides, you just weld it at the sides. So just use set quartz. I know a lot of people moan when I use face um uh, welded it, but it's a god. It's a it's a you know, it's a lifesaver. It's god's in. <laughs> but these little walls here, I can do them by hand. And there are there are versions of it on console, but I don't actually know how to use them or if they're as powerful as the versions we have here. So I do use it sparingly. There is being used during these tutorials. So there we go. There's the walls, all increased in height to four blocks high, and then the roof, which is just wood blocks, which I've thrown away. So the roof is going to be just wood blocks again, like so, just basically a deck. Like that. Just build that all the way back, all the way to the back end. I use welded it again for this one, so I shall stand here. So we use fill wood by 200 and that should fill in the rest it has and there we go it's just another little perk of having welded in it and there we go so there's the walls all done and uh, they don't look too bad now the same thing as we do usually is just to add the doors and windows what we'll do is do the usual thing we'll just add a pair of windows or just add a load of windows uh, spaced out roughly evenly so I'll put a pair of doors here like that so it's basically doors and windows doors and windows so that's, I put three windows in there, there's one, two, three in there, and that's one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, and then eight windows, and then a pair of doors at the end. There we go, I'll just do the same across the back, so just put windows in two, uh, two blocks apart on the other on the back end except for the center because the center is symmetrical so you'll have it the same on both sides but there we go so let's do the other side quickly one two three four five six seven eight plus a pair of doors there and then more windows so a window uh, window and window and then we won't do windows across the front because there will be a big vent that goes on the front there so I should have explained that first but there'll be a big vent that goes on there so don't worry about that wall just yet alright so there's our doors and windows done so what we're going to do next is work on the ship's funnel now just bear with me while I sort my notes out for this one because it's a pain so bear with me a second alright okay so for the funnel what we're going to do is go to the front wall of the deck house here and we're going to use the funnel in yellow, so it's sort of a, is it, I don't know if it's a white star line in it, Leicestershire? No, it doesn't sound like it, does it? Anyway, um, so we're going for the funnel, uh, the front of the deck house, then we're going to go to the seventh block back on the wood. So the wood block is there, centre block, and then go seven back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll build on there, so there's our centre block of the funnel. So the funnel front is three wide, like that. And then out to the side we want three rows of two, so two, two two like that same the other side two 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 like that and then uh back two one two and then back three one two three and then back five one two three four five and i should do the same the other side back two one two back three one two three and then five one two three four five so that's the front half done and then curving back in towards the center again we want two rows of three so one two three one two three and then three rows of two 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 same the other side so three uh, two rows of three one two three one two three and then three rows of two 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 and then join them together in the middle and there we go there's our funnel got our eyeball shaped or eye shape like that and uh, not too bad so that's what we've got there and then for the funnel design um we're going to do the same thing on every block of the uh, uh, every front block of each section so uh, just bear with me how we do this. So the front of the funnel, we'll start on the centre. The design of the funnel is going to be in three sections. So on the centre we go up five in yellow. So one, two, three, four, five. And then behind that we go up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then behind that we go one, like that. And then in black we go up five. One, two, three, four, five, like that. So that's the slanty design that we have there. And you just want to do that same design 
on the said blocks that I'm going to show you. So you do the same design on this block, that block, that block, that block, that block, and that block. Like that. So that's the exact same design on all those blocks there. And then on the back of the funnel, I'll do the same again. So on that block, that block, there, 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 and across the back like so. So that same design. Just do it on all those blocks I just showed you. And uh, that'll be it. So I'm going to use World Edit for this one. Just to copy and then paste it on all those sections just to save a bit of time. So I shall quickly copy those bits. So, like I say, you copy on all those bits there. You do the same on the other side as well, of course, but, uh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I've only just showing you how to do one side for the minute. So, I just quickly copy that and then I shall paste. Uh, and I paste there. I can't, I only paste that one. There we are. So, paste there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And then that's the front half of the funnel done. So there's all the all sections done like that. So that's the front half of the funnel done. And I should do the same on the back of the funnel. So that same design. So I just quickly copy again. And the same design. Paste, 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 paste. And that's it. So there we are. There's the back of the funnel done. And it should look something like that. So you've got huge gaps in the funnel, but that's how it should be just now, because we've not got the slant done, but we've got to fill in the uh, fill in the gaps. So just go on the inside. I've only done one side as well. The other side will be exactly the same, but I'm just going to focus on one side for now, just to save a few few minutes of time. But um, I'm just fill in all the gaps first. I'll do the yellow first. Because I'm lazy. Pretty knew that anyway. Like that, and then the next section there, and then the next section there, and then we'll add the black. There we go. So there's our funnel done. Making sure you get all the slanty bits in place. So there we go. There's our funnel. Well, half of it done anyways. Like I said, I've only done one side, but that is how it's going to be for the minute. So the next job we want to do is to add the slant, which is where the top of the funnel slants back. If you look at the prototype, you'll see the black slants down in steps. So it also happens on the yellow at the bottom as well, but or the yellow uh, at the bottom of the black. So that's what we're going to do now. So if you look at the funnel side on, like I said, looking at it directly side on, what you're going to do is count back because we're going to leave the first seven blocks, so the first seven, we'll, look, we'll count those, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they're fine, and then from the eighth block, which is this one, we remove six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, and then for the next block along, we remove twelve, so it's going to be the top two, or the top one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then the centre blocks as well, so there we go, there's the funnel done, at the top like that. This don't look too bad. Now for the for the uh, slant at the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the back, the, the bottom bit on the yellow, uh, it's going to be slightly different. So we go to the side of the yellow, and look at it side on again. The front of the yellow, look at it side on. And this time we're going to count back, and leave the first eight. Um, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the ninth block, we remove six again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and replace them with the black, like so. And then after that, we remove the same again. So we remove twelve. We'll do the top first, the top line of six first. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then do the line underneath. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And there we go, there's our slant done. It's a bit confusing how I explain it, because I'm a bit inept on that department, but that is how the uh, funnel should look. So just do the centre back as well. And there we go, there's our funnel in place. There's a big old unit as well, it's a big old funnel for a ship of this size, but she's a bit of a, she looks a bit of like a tramp steamer, really. It's not really, a, not really a cruise ocean liner sort of thing, but, you know, it is what it is. And, like I say, that's only half the funnel done, so... Um, what I'll do, I'll quickly copy that to the other side because I'm lazy, like I say, but I'll quickly copy this to the other side. So I shall uh, put two white blocks there and copy from that point just to do the other side. So I get, I'm just doing all this in one video, otherwise, I'll be here all day doing this. Um, so copy to 
that point. And then what we'll do, we'll do copy, copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And that'd be both sides of the funnel done. And there we go. And like I say, I do apologise for using well it, but just saves a bit of time. So there we go. There's both sides of the funnel done. Um, but I did explain how to do it, how to build it, and things. So if you do have problems with it, then just blame me. So there's our funnel done. And then the, the, the details of the funnel what we want to do now is on the front of the funnel. We want to add a ladder. So on the front centre block, we're going to build a black line going up to the top of the yellow. So put a line up on the front of the funnel to the top of the yellow, like so. And then we'll add a ladder to the front of that. So get down here and just add the ladder to the front, like so. And then at the top of the funnel, we'll just add a whistle, which I normally use um, stone cobblestone wall for that. So I put either a single whistle or a double whistle. It's entirely up to you, but normally these sort of ships have a single. No, I put a single one like that. And there we go, there's the funnel almost done. One more job for the funnel is just to go on the inside and add some bars across the top. So I get I normally use grey uh wall for this one. And for the funnel we we'll just go one down from the top and one back from the front. Just add the bars across. I don't know if this was actual a thing with this ship, but oh, excuse me, this is just the design that I use for most of my ships actually. And some some of them I don't even use anything on some ships I just cover the tops over but um, just build the bars across and when the funnel drops in height just drop the height as well for the bars and everything should be hunky diddly dory squat and things like that in theory and uh, yep, everything's all done Oop, and then we go drop down in height again and then just add the last bar into position there, there we go so there's our funnel done and uh, that's all funky diddly dory there. I'm quite impressed with that. I mean, the ship has definitely got its silhouette now. I know there are only two videos into this. And there'll be a third to do all the fitting out. But overall, she a bad looker. She a bad looker. The next ship that I'm going to do, I'm not, I've not announced this on this channel yet, but we're going to do the Wilhelm Gustloff after this tutorial. I want to bring that one forward because it's neat. And uh, here we go. So that's the funnel done there. So the next job I want to do if you can catch up with this one, is to add the big vent to the front of the superstructure. Um, the big vent is actually five blocks wide, so it's on, it goes on the front. So initially what I'll do, and I'm going to look at the prototype first, because I can't remember how I did this. Uh, the big vent is that thing there, so there we go, that's five wide. One, two, three, four, five high, there we go, that's fine. So I'll just go over to that now and do that, so it's build it in blocks basically. So the front of the the front of the deck house, we build it five wide. So one in the middle, two either side like that, five wide and then five up. So on the side, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then using quartz slabs or whatever slab you tend to use for this sort of thing, depending on the weight, we just build slabs going across every half block, like so, like that, and then blocks across the top like that there we go so there's our vent design like that and then for the sides we just add a block there and a block there and then using quartz stairs again the quartz the quartz the quartz we just add quartz across the top like so and then quartz across the bottom like that to create a sort of a bit of big air scoop sort of thing and there we go there's our vent not bad not perfect, not brilliant, but it'll do. And also, if you, you've got a bit of uh, uh, something uh, in the way, then you just cover it off. There you go. So it just makes it look uniform. Then there we go. That's the vent done there, funnel done, and the ship's looking neat. So that's another job done. So the next job I'm going to do now is to do a jump cut when I sort out the next deck house, which will go on the stern deck over there. Um, and then I shall we shall move on from there. So I shall do a jump cut and then I shall return. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So at the back of the ship now, we're going to focus on the uh, stern deck house, bridge wings, and some other bits. And also, we're going to do the rudder and propeller in this video as well. So, what we'll do first, we'll go to the back or the front wall of the stern deck, which is this wall here. And like we did on the front of this, well, the superstructure wall, we're just going to add the yellow line at the bottom of the uh, wall itself. 
just to keep in with the design of the rest of the yellow line in that area. And there we go, so there's that bits done there. And then we're going to add some stairs. So I'll just get my stair blocks first, wherever they are. There they are. So for the stairs, we're going to go to the... From the white, we're going to go to the... I think it's the fifth or sixth block in. So if we go to the sixth block in on the white, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then build our stairs there. So stairs, stairs, block, block, plus stairs and stairs. And they're going to be single block, single block wide stairs, so not too big. So we'll just build our banisters two up, two up, two up. And then two up, two up, two up there. And I'll do the same the other side. So on the white, six block in. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Add our stairs there. And then it blocks there like that. And then the banisters, two up, two up, two up. There we go. And two up, two up, two up. There we are. All done. Right, so that's that front wall done there. And I think there's some doors or windows to add as well. I may as well do those. So I'll put a pair of doors in the little side bit here. So a pair of doors there. And then same the other side, a pair of doors on the edge there. And then in between the stairs we'll just add um, three windows. Like that. So there we are. There's the, the back face, or the front face of that back wall. <laughs> or whatever it is. Right, so what we're going to do now is to build the deck house. There's going to be two deck houses. Well, sort of one, but stacked up. So there's sort of two stacked on top of each other. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the centre block on the back. And we're going to go to the to one block back, so one one black one block back on the wood, so to that one there, and put our centre block. And the deck house itself is nine wide, so that's four either side. One, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way. And then the sides are twenty-two, so twenty-two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Do the same on the other side. Quite a, a narrow deck house this one, but it's a fairly decent shape. Uh, so it's 22, like that, and then join them together across the back, like that. Marvellous, looks quite good. And then, um, what we'll do then, if we go from the back wall, which is the, the, the wall closest to the back of the ship, what we'll do, this back wall, increase that to 4 high. Like so. So that's the, the height of our wall there. And then from the top block, top corner blocks, so we're going to build forward uh, forward three. So one, two, three. And then we're going to build the bridge wings out to the side. So there's three forward, and then we're going to go out eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then forward three. One, two, three. And then back in eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down two, like that. So there's our bridge wing there. So do the same on the other side, forward three at the top, so one, two, three, and then out eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forward three, one, two, three, and then back in eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down two. There we go, so there's our bridge wings added there. And then the rest of the walls, forward of the bridge wings, forward, round there, round there, round there, build the walls to four high. So four high, all the way around. So, and then across the front. And then down the other side, I use one for this one. Down to an R. Uh, set courts for that one. There we go. So, there's our walls added there. And then the areas between the back wall and the front of the bridge wings, the walls in there will be three high. So, like so. There we go, so there's our walls added there, and then the deck itself, we just go on the inside of the bridge wings and start adding the deck in there, like so. So you just build this deck all the way from the side, side to side, forward to back, so the whole deck will fill in uh, the roof of this deck. So I shall use the fill tool again, I shall stand here and just fill in, so fill, wood by 200, and that fills in the whole deck, that's good. And then there's our deck house. Nothing special, but it does the job. So the next thing I want to do is just add the doors and windows. So I'll go from the front one, add a window there, Oop, there like that, and then a pair of doors, and then we just add windows. I think along the side. La 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 da 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 like that, and then across the back, same usual design. Like that, and then the same on the other side, so I'll put a window at the front, 
pair of doors, and then windows are on the side. There we go, so that's that bit done, or maybe the same across the front as well, so three windows across the front. And there we go, so that's that job done, so that's that deck house there done. Um, there will be more detail added to it afterwards as well, but that will be done in the next part. We could do it now. We'll see. Anyway, next job we're going to do is add the next deck house that goes on top. So from the front of the deck house on the wood, we're going to go to the fourth block back on the wood. So we go one, two, three, four, and build there. And this deck house here is nine wide, so it's the full width of the floor there like that. And then the sides are going to be four. So one, two, three, four. So on the other side, one, one, two, three, four. And then in two, one, two, same the other side, in two. And then the sides are five back. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then across the back, like so. Very small deck house, but it's the same concept. So it's five, uh, four high all the way around. So it's three high, then four high. It's a bit tall when it's four high, but you can adjust it if you want to. But build it four high for now. So each of these designs are designed to be improved on, so you can do your own twists to each design. If you want to do that sort of thing. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's our deck house done there. Then the roof, same again, just loads of wood blocks. And then the doors and windows, just put a door each side on the front. And then window, window. And then the sides will just be windows, I think. So I've got a window, window, window. And then, oh, we're going to need doors as well, so I'm going to put a single door there. Um, and a window there as well. And as I say, it's a small deck house, so. Improving is always helpful. Um, so what I do is put a door there, and then a window, and a window, and a window, Oop. and another window. There we go. So there's that deck house done there. Marvelous. So that's quite an easy bit of detailing done there. So the prototype. We're going to look at. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six. There's a lot of vents on this thing. So for the first couple of vents, we're going to go to the side of the front of the deck house. So the front wall of the deck house here, go to the side about two blocks back, so one, two, and then out to two, one, two, to about there, I think. I'm just looking at, I'm just taking a wild guess at this one. See you can, well, I want to keep getting mail updates, can we? Right. Uh, does, this, does this deck house, the vents stick to the side, or are they? Oh, they're actually stuck on the side, so okay, okay. So the deck, so the vent is stuck on the side, so. Didn't count how tall it was, but that's not a problem, anyway. So it goes on the side there like that, so side, second block, it's third block along, and then we're going to build it to about seven high, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one forward like that. That's all two forward, I think that's the way oh, the prototype shows it. There is one forward. But uh, there we go, and do the same on the other side. So on the side here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one forward. Marvellous. And then put one on the centre at the very top on the deck house. So put one about four blocks high. One, two, three, four. Make it five. And then one forward. Like that. And then behind the deck house, uh, between the back wall and the window, I think. By the door, I think. We'll put another one about five high, I think. So two, three, four, five. Make it six. And then one forward. I'm just taking a wild guesses here because I can't tell from a distance. But do the same on the other side between the door and the window. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one forward. There we go. And then the last two, I think it's two. No, it's one. Goes on the deck, roughly in the middle, about there. I suppose it doesn't really matter about that one. But I make that one about four high. So two, three, four, and one back like that. There we go. My improvisation had worked, <laughs> I think. Alright, so there we go, that's that job done. So what we're going to do now, just grab our handrails, our iron bars. And we'll build our iron, <coughs> iron bars around 
the uh, Dockingham Bridge. Is it? I think this is the first case of handrails on this ship. Bad it down, not too bad. So just build them all the way forward. And here we get one across the front as well. There we go, and then around the top as well. And there we are. There's our little deck house done there. And that's all the detail you're going to want to add to it. Um, there will be more handrails going around on the stern. We can do them now if you want, actually. Um, so, what I'll do, I'll put our handrails across the front, like so. Like this, out to the side. And what we'll do, just look at the prototype, uh, we're going to put a black block on the top white block here, like that, underneath that handrail there, and do the same on the other side. Like that there, and then put the handrail on top. And then we're going to just build handrails all the way around the side, around the back. Now if you're familiar with my build, you know what's going to happen here, because when I build the handrails around, I don't like the handrails sitting on top of the wood blocks like that. So what I do in the corners here, I just replace them with black like that, so the handrails are set on a uniform edge. So you can see all the way around, the handrails sit on top of the wood. So I, I just I add the handrails first, and then I replace the wood blocks with uh, necessary black when I get to it. So I just add them now, add the handrails now. And then... Add the uh, necessary details afterwards. So there's, there's the handrails added, and then I just replace the black blocks quickly in there like that, in there, and there. It'll be, it'll be the same on the front of the ship as well. It does annoy me this, but it's just a little cosmetic thing. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, it's just a little thing that I have. I'm not sure other people have got it as well. A little bit OCD. And there we go, there's our handrails all done, and the stern done. So I don't think we ever need to come back to that area. So that's that little job done there. And, um, yeah. So that's the stern deck house done. So what I'm going to do now, I should do a jump cut. Actually, there is going to be more detail to go on. Going to be portholes, but we'll worry about that another day. Actually, no, let's do this. Let's do the portholes now as well. So <laughs> around this deck, around this area of the stern, above the yellow line, I do apologise for this one, but we're going to add windows every... Let's say every third block. So every three blocks, add a window around the stern on top of the yellow line. Actually, that's one, two, five, I didn't mind. So every third block, all the way around to the center there, like that. So there you go, that's how it should look. That's bloody weird, but you know, that's it. So I just do the other side quickly. <laughs> And then we can call it a day on that one. <laughs> Two, three, one there, and then the last one. Oh, that's already done. There we go, so there's these things done there. Windows added. They will be the same on the side of the superstructure as well, and also on the forecastle, but we'll worry about that another day. But that's the stern. <laughs> Deck house done. Okay, I am done with it. I am done, done, done. Right, so I'm going to do another jump cut, and then we'll work out the uh, the propellers and the rudder. So that'll be that. So I shall return in just a moment. La la. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is to work on the propeller and the rudder. But before I do anything, because I fucking usually forget this, I'm going to get some night vision, because to be fair, you can't see shit under it. Okay, let's get on. Ocean of night invisibilityness, and what we're going to do, uh, grab our wood, uh, our red blocks, and on this flat panel here, because the, the, the stern under here does curve like this, but on this flat panel here, where the crosshairs is, we go to the center block of that, which I think is that one, yep, and we're going to add three blocks of red four, so that's one, two, three, like that, like so, and then we'll add, which I won't go, what else to do, we'll add, uh, what else do we need? We need another one two three four five six seven back and then one above one below and then seven back the other side one two three four five six seven so it creates a sort of 
propeller shaft. So you add that three blocks in the middle, forward like that, and then add a sort of cross shape on the prop shaft itself. So it does create the proper propeller shaft properly. It does look quite neat, I must admit. Anyway, that's the propeller shaft. Now for the propeller itself, I'm going to use sandstone blocks. So sandstone and sandstone stairs, wherever the hell they are. There. Right. So what I'm going to do for the propeller shaft, we're going to put the propeller on the end block here like so. So the propeller sh the, the propeller blades are, uh, if we do the out one first, you're out one, two, three, and then we do one, two, three, and then one in the middle like that. So there's our propeller blade. And then for the stairs, we'll add the stairs on the corner, 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 corner like that. And there you go, there's your first blade. So it's sort of a, that shape. And then for the next propeller blade up, we'll go up three, one, two, three, and then three, one, two, three, and then one, like that. And then the same again, propeller stairs on the blades, like so. There we go, there's two blades. Same on the out, we go out three, one, two, three, underneath, one, two, three, and then one, like that. And blade, blade, uh, stairs rather, stairs and stairs. So there's blade number three. And then blade number four, down three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then one, like that. And then stairs, 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 and stairs like that. There we go. So that's our propeller done. And then the central block, like that. And there we go, that's our propeller. Looking nice and neat, sort of. Yeah. So there we go. So that's our little job done. So what we're going to do now, we'll get our stone block, well, stone cobblestone wall thing. And then what we're going to do is on the end of the keel, so you should have this sing single block of the keel here. I'll put a block of this cobblestone wall there like that. And then for the propeller, uh, for the rudder itself, because that's the hinge, we're going to add the rudder. The rudder itself is up 13 so on top of that we go up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and then another cobblestone wall on top there you go so there's your rudder on there like that and then from the top we're going to go back five so 1 2 3 4 5 and underneath we'll go 2 1 2 and then we'll go down 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then down 2 1 2 and then across 4 1 two three four and one there to join them together so there's the shape of your, of your rudder and the rest of it you just fill in with red so do all that like, oop, like so and there we go there's our propeller and our rudder done um, so that's what I'm going to do for today and to be fair, the ship is about 85% done because she's got a silhouette, so it looks very much like a ship. Although she did look like that from part one anyway. But what we have so far it looks pretty neat. She's got the silhouette of a tramp steamer, but uh, the main details like cranes, cargo hatches, vents, poles, and things like that will go on in the next part. So that's part two all done. And like I say, part three, you can see the difference between the two. So part, uh, this build we're working on here and the prototype, the prototype has got all the masts and things on, and the vents, the lifeboats and all that. It does look the more complete vessel, but uh, what we have so far on this one doesn't look too bad either. So that's part two done. And we'll come back with part three as and when we can. So thanks all for watching, and I shall see you all in the next video. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And I shall return soon, so uh, bye for now.